Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I've got an exciting news for you. The Retouch for Me Dodge and Burn plugin has released a new version. It has a new neural network, significant acceleration, and a new interface. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So for this quick demo, we will be using the standalone Dodge and Burn plugin. As you can see, the user interface has been revamped. Let's now go ahead and open a couple of images to test what the new plugin can do. Let's start with this one. So at this initial stage, I just keep the subject detection at auto because it is very much accurate and reliable. I also enable the live model so that it can use the latest AI model or machine learning in the cloud for a more precise and accurate dodging and burning effect. Okay, it's done applying the effect on this image. Let's maximize the window. Here on the top left, we can hold this button to view the original photo. Let's zoom in. This is the original image. This is with dodge and burn. That is looking good. You can hold this icon to view the mask. So here you can see the targeted areas where dodge and burn is applied. You can click here to pan and zoom, brush icon for manually painting the effect, eraser tool to undo changes, and invert mask which literally means masked areas become unmasked, and unmasked areas become masked. We can move this blend slider right here to increase or decrease the effect. Let's increase the blend mode all the way to 200. This is the before, this is after. Before, after. What do you think? Is 200 too much? Let's keep it like this for the sake of this demo so we can just see the effect. We also have this warm slider to add yellow tones to the skin which in my opinion is not required for this image. Then again right here we have the subject scale detection and live model option. I just leave it at auto and enable live model all the time. Let's zoom back out to see the overall effect. Before, after, before, after. So, what do you think about this dodge and burn plugin? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. And once we're satisfied with the effect, we click on save. Let's proceed with our second example. Again, it automatically applied the dodge and burn effect. Before, after, before, after. And if you look down here, the blend mode is still at 200, which is the value we applied on our first image. So in this case, do keep in mind that the plugin does not reset to the default 100 value when opening the next image. Let's set it to the default 100 and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's a little subtle than the 200. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Not bad at all. Now let's crank it all the way to 200. To be honest, I like the effect like this. The uneven skin tones are blended well overall and it looks cleaner. Let's zoom out to have a final look. Yes, I like this. So I can definitely agree that this latest version of the plugin has improved. Let's go ahead and save this. And now for our third and last example, let's use this image. This is the original image. This is with dodge and burn. Again, the effect is at maximum of 200. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. This looks great. Now let's dial it down to 100. Before, after, before, after. I don't know about you, but in my opinion, 200 works for me. But if you think it's too much, you can always set it to whatever you like. It really is to each his own when it comes to photo editing. Let's see the full image. Yes, 200 works for me. I'll save this. So guys, that is a quick demo of the latest version of Retouch For Me's Dodge and Burn plugin. You can use it as a standalone app like I did, or use it as a filter in Photoshop. I have a whole playlist about Retouch For Me which you can check out in the video description. Click the link in the video description to get 20% off on your next purchase of any Retouch For Me plugins. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and click the bell icon to enable notifications. I'll see you on my next video, thank you for watching.